This coverage is brought to you in association with Fraser James Partnership, where money matters. The Gala 7s used a new format for 2012, four pools featuring 12 teams, with the winner of each pool reaching the semi-finals, and the first semi turned out to be between hosts Gala and Jed Forrest. And it was a close-run thing. Ewan Dodds scored the only try for Gala, but Jed got two, including this one from Gregor Young, and they booked their place in the final, hoping to lift the title for the first time since 1921. In the other semi, it was a high-scoring affair between Kelso and Herriets. This was one of Kelso's three tries scored by Murray Hasty. But it was Herriets who progressed 36-21. Andrew Scott getting on the score sheet with this touchdown, helped by Graham Wilson. So it was a Herriots jed final. Jed's last five appearances in the Gala 7s final had all ended in defeat. Could they end a 91-year drought, or would it be Herriots Day? They last won in 2008, one of two victories at the tournament, and they were beaten finalists last year when Melrose took the trophy. Throw in that Herriots ball, it's the Gala 7s final, Herriots nil, Jed Forrest nil, one and a half minutes gone in this final, it's Herriots inside their own 22 at the moment, the ball taken on by Gregor Lawson, he's going to try and go around Gregor Young, well he ain't going there son, so he decides, decides to put the ball back into midfield, uh, gets the ball back and uh, good pressure here, but then a uh, good break and it's that man again, it's Andrew Scott, in fact Graham Wilson who kicks across field and that's going to be chased on there by Fraser Brown, Fraser Brown then picks up for Herriots, 10 metres in inside the Jed Forrest half and the ball shipped out Andrew Scott we know he's got gas he's Ian Chase I'm chasing but it's going to be Andrew Scott we talked about he will be the danger man and already he goes in for the first try in this Gala Sivens final Herod's 5 Jed Forrest nil. and he's quick over 5-10 yards I mean he really picked up the pace as soon as he got a hold of the ball there and he got far enough away from the covering Jed Forrest defence in and round to get that first score and it's interesting Herod's have used the flanks very early on the first time they were nullified the second time they've opened up Jed Forrest they're trying to stretch Jed at every opportunity Graham Wilson who converted it with the restart for Herriots high ball, remember Herriots made the final here uh, last year against Melrose and uh, they lost that so they'll be looking to perhaps gain some kind of revenge against a border club, but Andrew Nagel takes the ball on for Jed from the restart on the halfway line, picked up by Gillespie out to Goodfellow, Goodfellow to Chisholm Chisholm out to Lewis Young, he's got his brother on the flank, Lewis Young cuts inside, feeds it to his brother and it's Gregory then but he's been caught well though he offloads and it's Lewis Young again Lewis Young kicks over the head and Young's chasing on the ball as is his brother Lewis but then Gregor and Lewis going for the same ball but it's been carried over the line I think that ball has it and the ball comes out wide again taken on by Max Lermont who cuts inside Horn then he loses the ball and the referee plays advantage taken on by Lewis Young Lewis Young starts away and Young's away and he's going to go in for the try and that's it Jed back in to this final Herriot 7 Jed Forrest 5 Lewis Young with the try and really Max Lermont uh, perhaps uh, his own fault there because he was kind of looking, I don't know if he was kind of thinking he had the shoulder straight back there and you thought he was going to go for a straight run, he was in two options but then all of a sudden, ball out of his hands Lewis Young picks up and then straightens it up and down the middle he goes in for the try, that's converted by Ian Chisholm, all square in this gala, Sivens final Jed Forrest 7, it's Harriet 7, Harriet's on the tack again and it's Gregor uh, Lawson, he's got Max Lermont in support and Lermont's trying to go round his man on, he has gone round Max Lermont putting Herriot's back in front, it's Herriot's 12, it's Jed Forrest 7 so Ross Goodfellow with the put in, good take by Weekly. Weekly then takes the ball and off he goes but he's been stopped in his tracks quick ball here now needed by Jed Forrest picked up then by Gillespie, out to Goodfellow along the line taken on by Chisholm out to Lewis Young, Lewis Young then cuts the gap cuts back inside, he's been tackled well though there, Lewis Young midway between his 10 and 22, the ball's there for Jed to recycle, it's going to be yeah, that was uh, Lewis uh, Gregor Young who picked up now it's Darren Gillespie on the ball Darren Gillespie's through the gap if he can offload he does Andrew Nagel now can he do he feeds it inside to Gregor Young and Gregor Young's going to take the ball right down the middle and he's going to go in underneath the post great work from the Jed forwards from Nagel in particular he fed it into the basket and Lewis Young at pace in underneath the post it's all square in at this Gala 7's final Jed 12 it's headed 12 we're approaching the 10 minute mark a big conversion 
pressure now from Ian Chisholm. He puts this over and Jed will go in front right at the break. So Ian Chisholm right in front from that Gregor Young try. He puts it over and Jed Forrest in front. It's Jed Forrest 14. It's Herries 12. It's a close run thing in this Gala Sevens final. It's a penalty to Harriet's and they have it through Max Nemo. Nemo feeds it out to Fraser Brown. Brown's got lost and in support. Feeds it back into Max Nemo and Max Nemo's going to go for it. Good tackle though by Lewis Young right on the Jed Forrest try line. But it's going to be recycled ball here or is it turnover ball? Jed may have saved that. Is it coming back on the Jed Forrest side? No. Harriet's have it. It's Max Lermonth out to Graham Wilson. Wilson, they've got an overlap here. If he uses it, he does. Inside and that's ball comes in and it's a try. I think, is it forward or is it try given no the try is given and that's Jason Hill that takes the pass and Herriots go back in front Jed Forrest 14 it's Herriots 17 and that was great ball retention across on the far side when it looked as if Jed Forrest had taken care of the situation there but again you have to say that Herriots when they get the ball out wide they know exactly how to pass very quickly that's a very important conversion as well Stuart yeah that's Graham Wilson converting that uh, try from uh, Jason Hill so that now makes it Jed Forrest 14 Herriots 19, just about two minutes gone in the second half. The Jed Forrest need to keep it tight at the moment. They're only trailing by the five points. They haven't won the Gala Trophy since 1921. High kickoff again from Graham Wilson. Up goes Nagel, picked up by Ross Goodfellow. Goodfellow then feeds the ball back into Michael Weekly along the line to Chisholm. Somebody needs to strain up here. Chisholm does that. Off he goes. That's a good break by Ian Chisholm. He's away. He's up to the halfway line. Chisholm he's going to go in alone, is he? He's got the support inside. Taken on by Lewis Young, Young half court, he's going to go all the way, great stuff from Jed Forrest, great break from Chisholm and Lewis Young on his shoulder, he got half tackled, he kept his footing and then he goes for the try and it's all square in this gala final, it's Jed 19, it's Herries 19, what a final, it's Lewis Young on the ball now for Jed Forrest, Lewis Young trying to offload, oh he tried to get the offload there, it's gone forward and the referee playing advantage, Max Lermont now on the ball, he's not going to go around the young boys or is he Max Lermont again Gregor Young's got him tracked oh, Gregor Young takes him down taken off by Gregor Lawson picked up by Max Nemo Nemo feeds a long pass out and that's taken on by Fraser Brown Fraser Brown out to the far side and that's Andrew Scott this boy's got pace he's going to go and Andrew Scott is going to go in for the try and that's going to put Herriot back in front Andrew Nagel just tracking him there to try and make sure he doesn't get close to the uprights but now that's Herriot back in front Jed 21 it's Herring's 24. I'll tell you what, though, it's an absolute cracking final here at Netherdale. Well, by far and away, the best game we've watched so far. It's Herring's now pick up through Jason Hill, and that's come out and that's taken on by Andrew Scott, but he's lost it. I'll tell you, good work by Darren Gillespie. Andrew Scott just about away. Gillespie puts the tackle inside the Herring's 22, but it's Andrew Nagel who picks up, and Nagel's going to go out for the try. He's got near the post, and he's in for the try. It's all square. Jed 26, it's Herring's 26, and that was all horribly wrong from uh, Herridge, but I'll tell you what, Darren Gillespie, stand up and take a bow, son, because Andrew Scott had that ball, had he broke away, he was away for a try, he was not going to be caught, and get the Gillespie put pressure on him, knocked him backwards, the ball squirts out, and Nagel picks up and runs in for the try, it's all square, three minutes remaining, conversion goes over, Jet in front here at Netherdale. This is a very important restart game for Jed Forrest, restart haven't been on the money for Jed so far in this game. Yeah, Ian Chisholm with the restart. Gillespie gets up there and the ball now on oh, Jason Hill picks up. He could be away here. Fraser Brown, did he get a hand tip? No. Ian Chisholm picks up on the halfway line. He's gone over the halfway. He's caught though by Carmichael who's just come on for uh, Harriet's. In fact, that was Cammy Ferguson. Ball comes out wide. It's Jed Forrest on the ball and it's uh, at the moment Gregor Young trying to go around his man. He's gone. Toot toot. He is away. Oh, and then Max Lermont for the second time just gets him five metres from the try line Jed 28 Henry is 26 as the ball comes in and it's been spelled as uh, Jed Forrest that was knocked on surely by uh, Wilson but no says the referee and it comes out now taken on by Max Nemo Nemo's through and with the tackle comes in from Gillespie and Co. the ball's there Herriot's inside the Jed Forrest 22 we're in injury time here at Netherdale Jed 28 it's Herriot's 26 it's injury time well now if Jed can get the ball and put it into touch it's 
all over. Max Lermouth now on the ball. Feeds it out to Jason Hill. Jason Hill out to Max Nemo. Max Nemo on that 22. Jed just need to get ball in hand. And then it could be all over. But it's ball taken on by Graham Wilson. Wilson tackle. What a tackle that was. Oh, knock on. That's going to be it. It's going to be all over. And Jed are going to win the title here. Referee looks at it. It's all over. And Jed Forrest have won the Gala Sevens. 28 points to 26 and after that performance they deserve it the first time since 1921 that they have won the tournament here at Netherdale and I'll tell you what Jed Forrest have laid down the gauntlet to the rest of them and saying Kings of the Sevens here we come okay, Jed Forrest now about to come up and uh, pick up their gala trophy for the first time since 1921 incredible I think all these years Jed have never uh, won here at gala they've been perhaps in finals but they've never got over the, the final whitewash with a half tonight in a great, great gripping final by 28 points to 26. You, of course, were in a very tough uh, draw, the Quatremis and Hoik as well. Yeah, well, uh, one of the boys that was playing for Hawk scored a hat-trick against us and he was playing for Quatremis today, so we were a wee bit worried about that. But today we dogged it out and just showed what Jed's all about. He's really stuck in the, the work we've put in, like through coming up to these sevens have been really good, the boys have been putting in, it showed off the day, the hard work and that, and it's, in this, every game, put in. We've never really been good starters at Jed, and it's, it's absolutely fantastic to get the win, so we've got to, get, got to have a great night tonight, then train, look, for, look forward to Melrose next week, a big one. Jed have always been traditionally good at sevens, and I think you've got your best squad, haven't you? Aye, ah, we're doing really good, uh, the young boys are kind of excelling now, and the team spirit than now, it's really good. And great to see the young brothers back and Darren Gillespie and Ross Goodfellow, the old head, and yourself, of course. Well, it's, it's about time the twins started running. <laughs> the, the Lewis is doing nothing now, but aye, Goody, his legs are tightening up, but his head's there. Well, that's two weeks and two trophies. <laughs> great, eh? Never thought it would ever happen. So what about the rest of the series now? Uh, we're just going to keep training hard, keep winning, hopefully. <laughs>